Knock that out. Now the speculus cat pack. Nah. See what we got here. <laughs> it's the Alfa Romeo Stelvio. Tell you a little something about this car. This little bad beast right here. It's got two point oh liter turbo pushing. 280 horsepower, 306 pounds of torque. Don't mind me, I'm eating my Skittles. You don't know nothing about that. <laughs> I can upgrade the version of the Qualifodio that pushes 505 horsepower and 446 pounds of torque. This, these cars right here are the closest thing to a Ferrari that you're gonna get cheap, if you're lucky. All right, so one thing I am going to tell you about this Alfa Romeo is that it has the blind spot sensors right here. So whenever you're driving and a car come up either in front of you or behind you, it'll let you know that you have your blind spots. That way you don't run into nobody. And up here, we have your front sensors that'll let you know that, hey, if you're driving and you're texting or if you're on Skype, it lets you know that, hey, somebody is right there in front of you. That way, you'll be able to stop in time. Now, if we come over here, we have the five-star alloy wheels. And boy, 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 what can I say? There's a blackout package where these wheels can come gloss black. And boy, if you look at it on Google, it'll, it'll, you'll be sick about it. Now, let's get down to the brakes. These are four-piston Brembo brakes. You have never seen four piston Bimbo brakes on a four cylinder. Unless you customize them and put them on there yourself. Then, you know, that's, that's, that's not my business. Now, let me come over here to the rear. And you'll notice these are not four piston Bimbo's. They're just regular old brake pads. And, you know, I like, I like the way they did it because it lets you know that, hey, we the top dog. We got alpha brakes. We don't got none of that mess. All right, now if we come to the rear, we have some large pipes, and we have the Q4, stand for quad four. Let you know, hey, this is an all-wheel drive vehicle. Now, let's get down to what we really came for, the performance. All right, let's get down to the performance. If you look under here, we have a 2.0 liter turbocharged engine. And if you look over here, that's where they, that's where the turbo is at. Now, the power on this thing comes out to be 280 horsepower, 306 pounds of torque. Now, if we're looking at something like the Quadfolio, it has a 2.9 liter twin turbo engine where it pushes out 505 horsepower and 443 pounds of torque. Now, if we get right back under here, you're gonna notice that this has a very, very large intercooler. Because you look right here, the intercooler is right down here. And we come over here, well, you, you get you get the gist. Yeah, look at that intercooler. That's clean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you're ever in the market, you have a family, you want something nice and sporty, Go and get the Alfa Romeo Stelvio Sport. It's having an amazing 280 horsepower and 306 pounds of torque with a zero to 60 of 5.4 seconds and a top speed of 144 miles per hour. Now, if you want to get beefy, go balls to the wall, go in there and get the Stelvio that's on steroids, which is the Parsifolio, which has a zero to 60 of 3.9 seconds at a top speed of 177 miles per hour with an amazing 505 horsepower and 443 pounds of torque. Now on to the interior. Now if you notice, the paddle shifters don't move with the wheel. That's because the paddle shifters are stationary. So if you ever want to drive and you know you don't want to worry about the paddle shifters going along with the wheel, then you are in luck because they stay right here because they're mounted here. Now. <clears throat> Let's go ahead with the screen. You get a beautiful 8.5 display screen 
And if we come down here, this is where we have fun at. See, we have these DNA. So the D stands for the dynamic, which is basically the sport mode. So it gives you the sports steering. It gives you the sport everything. Now we go down to here. The N stands for neutral, which is basically the mixture of both the D and the A. So it's pretty much your custom mode where you can get the best of both worlds. Now we'll go down to A, which is the advanced efficiency. That is basically your eco mode. So if you're driving, you're going like, I don't know, cross country, your best bet is to go into the A because that is basically your eco mode. Now, if you're wondering what it looks like on the screen, here it goes. Goes up to N where it gets your nice blue. Goes up to D where it gets your nice color red. And if we go back down to A, you have your nice green for eco mode. And let's look at this compass. That's a nice compass. That's stupid, man. Now let's go over here to the wheel. This is a nice sport wheel. And if you notice, your start button is over here. It's not over here on like most cars. It's right here on the steering wheel. So whenever you get in, you just go in and get that started. Now let's look at the knob. The knob, man, the knob is, is something serious. Now, the knob have a little button back here. You have a button right here for park. You have a button back here to go into gear. Now, if you click it and you go down, it goes from park to just drive. Now, if you want to go into reverse, you go click this knob back here and hit up on the um, shifter. And it'll go straight into reverse. And if you don't want to do that and go straight into neutral, just hit the shifter up and it goes straight into neutral. And if you want to go into the manual, all you have to do is just hit the shifter over to the left I'm going to give you an example of that alrighty so I'm going to show you how this gear shifter works so put your brake down obviously and then you click this button it goes from park to straight drive now this is the thing that where I was talking about so if I hit up on the shifter it goes straight into neutral so that's without clicking the button behind it that's going straight into neutral. Let's go back to drive. Now, if you click the button and goes up, it goes straight into reverse. Like so. Now, let's go back. If you click it down once, it goes into neutral. Click it down twice, goes into drive. Or you can just go back up to reverse, click the button, and go down straight into drive. Same thing for as like the manual. Just click it over to M. Got your negative, got your positive. Now, if you're new to it, the negative is for downshifting. The plus is for upshifting. Now, if you click this button right here, it goes straight into parking. All right, now this is how the lights look on the Stelvio. Got your hazard lights. Got your, your left, got your right, this is for the front, now let's go straight to the back. There's some beautiful lights right there man. Listen to that turbo. This is the performance. Alright, now this is the inside view of the zero to sixty. Let's 
car can handle curves. This is 60 miles per hour going around the curve. 70. 70. As you can see, this car can hold its own on the road. Okay, one last thing I want to show you is the key fold. Just the key fold is very is very dope. Now let's look at the dash real quick. Now everything is normal, yeah, it's nice and smooth. Now if we go over here, you know, we have this one little noticeable thing, this jetty. Uh, look at it. that's the that's the front sensor, <laughs> front sensor. Now we have Jerry. Now Jerry is basically the RPMs in Italian. I mean, if I'm wrong and you speak Italian, tell us what it really means. But Jerry is basically the RPMs. And if you can see, it goes all the way up to seven thousand. Now when you're driving, on the other hand, if you're in like the paddle shifter, it can go all the way up to sixty-five hundred RPMs. Kind of, it's kind of funny in a four-cylinder, yo. Yeah.